Before operating machinery, the operator is to carefully adjust the wide variety of settings to suit his individual needs. Cab 554B Kenworth Air Suspension Seat Air Lumbar The backrest incorporates an adjustable air lumbar support, which is adjusted by the lumbar bulb located at the front left side of the seat. You simply pump the air bulb to inflate and depress the button to exhaust the air in the lumbar bag. 4. Aft Isolator From time to time, trucks that are transporting large, heavy trailers may be subject to longitudinal impacts transmitted through the rear of the cabin. Therefore, the fore aft isolator has been provided to drivers who require damping of these impacts. The operation is simple. Using the lever on the left-hand side of the suspension, locate the lever in the middle position and the fore aft isolator is active. The fore aft isolator can be locked out by pushing this lever down. Manual weight adjustment. The valve on the front of the suspension is to adjust the suspension cross arms to the mid ride position, depending on the operator's weight. It is not for height adjustment. This manual valve adjusts the volume of air in the airbag which controls the suspension cross arm mechanism. Ideally, the cross arms should be located in the mid ride position. In other words, in the middle of the top and bottom of the vertical travel of the suspension. A simple trick is to inflate the airbag to a maximum and then release the air until the suspension starts to decrease in height. However, if a truck was being driven over harsh conditions and the suspension was bottoming out, then additional air should be added via the manual air valve on the front of the suspension to maintain the suspension unit from bottoming out. Fore aft adjustment. To adjust the fore aft position of the seat, lift the handle located at the lower front edge of the suspension to disengage the slide rail lock mechanism and move seat to optimum position. Armrests. The armrests adjustment is made by turning the roller located underneath the armrest. Turn the roller anti clockwise to increase the armrest angle. The armrests also swing up and out of the way if required. Height adjustment. The cab 554B Kenworth has a separate height adjustment mechanism above the suspension. This means that the suspension can work purely for vibration attenuation and is independent of the height adjustment. To correctly adjust the height of the seat, the operator needs to initially locate the two levers on the right side of the suspension. To lift or tilt the front of the seat, the front lever needs to be extended vertically whilst the operator leans back in the seat. Similarly, the rear lever activates the rear height tilt mechanism. There is 60 millimeters of vertical height tilt adjustment in this mechanism. Once seat has been adjusted, ensure lever is engaged in locked position. Backrest. The rotary adjustable backrest has adjustment from 58 degrees forwards to 80 degrees backwards. It has been specifically designed to withstand the extra seat belt loads that are present in the event of an accident. Seat belt. The cab 554B Kenworth contains an integrated three-point seat belt. This is an improvement on the lap seat belts as in previous Kenworth truck models, and also an improvement on the pillar-mounted seat belt as there is no relative movement between the seated occupant and the seat belt system. Headrest. The headrest is adjustable in the vertical direction and also rotates forward for head and neck support. Please note that the function of the headrest is to provide support and reduce whiplash of the neck in the event of an accident. 
Tether cables, not demonstrated. The cab 554B Kenworth has an internal steel tether cable. This cable is in addition to the adjustable external tether belts and provides additional safety in the event of an accident. The external tether straps are the last line of defence in the event of an accident. Therefore, it is imperative that they are correctly set up and securely fastened. For further information on training or seat suitability, visit the CAB Institute website.